We love Firehouse Fridays, and today firefighters from Hamden are here to show their support for the Connecticut Burn Center at Bridgeport Hospital. Joining me now are Kevin Martin and Peter Lynch. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you for having us. So tell me a little bit about the Hamden Fire Department. Uh, the Hamden Fire Department, we have five stations in town. Uh, we have 23 guys on duty at all times, 24-7, seven days a week. Um, and we uh, provide advanced life support services. Uh, we run uh, five engines, uh, a truck, two rescue companies, and a battalion chief. And uh, we're uh, ready for any emergency that, uh, that we're called to. Now, Peter, I know that uh, you cover Sleeping Giant State Park. There's probably a lot of hiking situations. Yeah, it's, uh, companies companies in Hamden tend to uh, they get a lot of emergencies up there this year, especially. It seemed like a big year for calls up at Sleeping Giant. They've been up there pretty frequently. There's been some rope rescues that have had to be made. But that's actually not really uh, Kevin and I's area. We work down in, uh, on Lower Dixwell Avenue. We're both assigned okay. to Station 2. Uh, it's very busy down there, very active in the community. And that's why we're showing you what we make at work uh, when we're trying to make something that's easy and uh, reheatable because we're so busy out during dinner all the time and stuff. So we're going to make a nice, easy yeah, meatloaf. Yeah, let's get started. I'll switch spots with you. Okay. We could uh, make the meatloaf. Is this a favorite in the firehouse? Uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely something that we do a lot. Uh -huh. And uh, like I said, it has great replay value for other firefighters out there watching this or working families. Uh, this reheats well. You can make this in the morning, reheat it at night. It still comes out great. I like it cold. I don't even like reheating it. Really? <laughs> Meatloaf's great. Yeah. How do we get started? Well, we get started by, and this is my mother's meatloaf recipe. She was very insistent upon that I uh, mention that. <laughs> okay, we start. Nice of her to share. So we get started out with uh, a pound and a half of ground beef. And we have all of our wet and dry ingredients here. We're going to add our wet ingredients first. Mr. Martin's going to be mixing for me. Oh, you're going to get dirty, Mr. Martin? Yes. Gonna Mr. Martin's going to get very dirty. Yeah. He's a, he makes an excellent sous chef at work. Oh, so very nice. We're going to start out with a half cup of water. Throw in two eggs. And we're going to throw in our breadcrumbs, which is a cup of crushed Ritz crackers. Make excellent breadcrumbs. Oh, what a great idea. I've never heard of that before. So Mr. Martin is going to mix this up for us. And while he's doing that, I'm going to take and start preparing my ketchup glaze, which is just three quarters of a cup of ketchup. Right in the pan here. Oh, now we have a secret ingredient coming up, don't we? We do. This is we unique. Have, we have crushed pineapple, and we've reserved the juice in it. So we're going to mix the pineapple juice in with the pineapple. I like that idea. So we're going to take it and whisk it together. And Kevin is continuing to mix together all those wet ingredients. And this might be a little uh, less dense than some of the meatloaf recipes that people are used to. This has a lot of liquid ingredients, um, but it holds its moisture really well. And uh, like I said, it's, it's awesome. Uh, like Teresa said, cold, it's good on a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. So basically, ketchup does some awesome stuff when it's cooking. It kind of changes its flavor a little bit. Um, so there's actually a lot of ketchup fe uh, featured in the meatloaf itself. We're going to continue to whisk up this sauce. You want me to help? I could do it. Yeah, certainly. Thank you. Hey, Kevin, I want to ask you while we're cooking here, uh, tell me about the mustaches. You guys typically rock those or what's going on? <laughs> well, I'm glad you actually brought that up because, uh, no, it's not a normal look for us. Um, we're always doing some kind of fundraising. Um, we like to be involved uh, in the community and, um, and, and helping uh, out different initiatives. And, uh, a lot of people are participating in uh, mustaches for Movember this month. Uh, we're raising awareness for uh, men's health uh, initiatives. So, um, we so can't a couple more days, right? A couple That's more days it? and yep. we can finally shave them off. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, neither of us are people who usually grow mustaches. So <laughs> I think it's, it's almost time to go, but it's been for a great cause. We've uh, raised quite a bit of money. I think we're in the neighborhood of about $3,000 just oh, for the Movember great. campaign. I believe there's about a quarter of the department that's participating, so. Very good. Let's put some pictures up on the screen while we uh, continue to mix the meatloaf and the glaze here. What are we looking at? Uh, that is a promotional ceremony. Uh, I believe that was uh, for the promotion of uh, one of our uh, chiefs, uh, okay. from uh, battalion chief to uh, deputy chief. That's another group shot of some guys, actually, um, uh, a gentleman that they had saved about five years prior um, who was uh, on a verge of death, uh, they actually were able to save him, and he came back to meet the crew that uh, actually oh, rescued him. Oh, that's so great. So it was cool for them to be able to meet uh, one of their guys they saved. Just a crew shot, uh, Station 5, a couple guys after a fire. Um, oh, that there's was an a fire shot, a few huh? years ago, yeah. I'm not sure where that one was, but couple, might be a couple action shots in there. Wow. That was a, I think, a car fire on Route 15. Somebody uh, snapped that, sent it into the report it feature. Um, that, that's a picture of us. Just we're always involved in the community. Like I said, that, that was helping build a, uh, a playground mm -hmm. at uh, Spring Glen School, I believe. So we're always uh, 
doing something to get get back to the community. Very nice. All right, Pete, what do so, we do next with this meatloaf? Okay, loaf? so next we have half a cup, uh, half a cup of chopped onions, uh, sweet onions. Onions are great to add to any kind of meat uh, because they have a lot of their own moisture. So they also bring a lot to keeping this meatloaf moist. Uh, this is also a great trick too if you're doing something like turkey burgers. I know a lot of people are on the health kick. I like turkey burgers once in a while. You mix some onions in with them and it helps keep the meat moist even when you have to cook it all the way through. Um, so, and we have half a cup of ketchup. There is ketchup all over the place in this recipe, so. It goes well though, ketchup and meatloaf, it's okay. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Kevin's gonna continue to mix that up. And we have two last things that go into here. We okay. have a shot of Worcestershire sauce. It's gonna go right in. And just a little dash of salt and pepper. There we go. Kevin's just gonna finish mixing that all up. What's gonna happen from there is we're gonna transfer to this baking tray right here. We're gonna form the meatloaf. Um, I know some people like to use loaf pans, stuff like that, and that's yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you, but either way it will work? Either way it will work, but the very important thing is, is when you do it in a loaf pan, you're gonna have to take it out, because I'll explain that in a second. Okay. Uh, basically, when we get this meatloaf made, and if uh, Kevin would be so kind to transfer the meatloaf <laughs> to the... Is it mixed up, Kev? You're good? I think it's, I think it's good. I, I think it's good. A lot of it on my good. hands, but... Okay. And it's a very messy operation. This is a good thing that if you have kids, something like that, you want to get them involved in the kitchen. But we're going to hand form that into a loaf. Let's get that all nice and tight. And obviously, we double or triple this recipe if you want to work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, How many do you, people do you feed on a typical, uh, dinner, on typical our, night? On our station, uh, we have five members. We have uh, an engine and a paramedic rescue that run out of the station. So we have. Uh, like I said, we have five people we need to feed, all big guys. <laughs> so uh, we usually have to probably double or triple this recipe. Okay. This is a normal single family recipe right here. So we're going to take this loaf and we're going to bake it for 45 minutes at 375. Okay. At that point, we're gonna take it out. You might see a little grease and stuff uh, out of here because you wanna use ground beef that's uh, at least 80-20. There's gonna be some fat content. Just drain it off and you're gonna take this wonderful pineapple glaze that we've done here that Teresa has been so kind to stir up for whisking. us. I've uh, been And you're going to take that after this has been in for 45 minutes at 375. You're going to pour it over the top of the meatloaf and uh, you're going to put it in for another 20 minutes at 425. Bake it up a little bit, put a little crust on it. I like that. Okay, very good. And we're going to go ahead, take our meatloaf and put it in the <laughs> oven. All right, well, uh, Pete is doing that. You at home can also help to donate to the Connecticut Burn Center at Bridgeport Hospital. Go to ctburncenter.wtnh.com. We're going to dig into the meatloaf at the end of the show. Looks like you have one done already. Well, through the magic of television, oh, we fantastic. have one meatloaf done already. Looks great. That is what the final product looks like. All right, we'll have the recipe over at WTNH.com. Thanks, guys. We're going to dig in in a little bit. And coming up, we'll give you a preview to Glitz, the Little Miss Christmas pageant musical, right after the break. Don't go anywhere.